What's up ladies and gents, Random Guy Wadis, I'm here with another video review on Transformers Combined Wars Cyclonus. Yes, another old toy, but first, card. And, um, yeah. Anyway, here we have uh, Cyclonus, who is a heavy retooling of uh, Silverbolt. And, um, yeah. It looks like the Cyclonus ship from the uh, original cartoon. If there's one, if there's one, uh, point where the, um, com this version wins over the, uh, classic Cyclonus that we got out of a while ago, is this mode, because this mode looks beautiful. Like, could have used more paint, of course, but with what we got, it's, it's nice. Nice details going along here, nice, uh, panel lining and intakes and all that. Excuse me, I just ate. Anyway, we'll take a look at the cockpit. Uh, the metallic orange going around the windshield. The silver going down the nose cone. The, the dark, darker purple. And, um, yeah. All the panel lining is nice. The intake stuff. All very good. Now, if there's anything that proves that this is a, like a Cyclonus repaint remold, it's this. He's just a man under a jet. Or a ship, rather. I suppose what you could do to differentiate the two is just put this, put these together, and and, and, and no, yeah, no, <laughs> forget that. So yeah, he's got the man under the jet, and uh, he does have landing gear. You just come down under the cockpit, you flip this section up, and it's a little nice molded landing gear. Nice molded in landing, nice landing gears and nice molded details. And you got the two other wheels molded into the, uh, what will be the combined, combined mode chest. And boom, he's got a landing gear. Which leads us into his accessories. Let me lower the camera a bit. I'm sorry. His gun right here. It's a Silverbolt's gun. Would have been nice if he came with his own gun, like Nightstick or... I don't know. This, this gun is very silver bolt and is just done in gray plastic. And it does split into two. You got the big gun and this, which I assume, if you look at this collector's card, is it supposed to be this. <coughs> excuse me, moi. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And uh, yeah, that doesn't. So you just put the two together for combined mode. And there is storage for this. You can flip up the uh, landing gear. And you got the two ports, the two posts that will plug in. That'll, that these two ports will plug into. Okay. Let's take those and plug it in, and wham! You got a gun under him. And you know, there's actually a the molded in landing gear there as well. Yeah, that's all I have to say for that. Anyway, we'll put this off to the side for now and look at some size comparisons. So first, here he is with another Combiner Wars Deluxe. Here he is with Sunstreaker. And just because here he is with, uh... Excuse me, Skywarp. I don't know why. It's just Skywarp. Anyways, we'll just get into transformation now. We'll start by removing these, uh, fin pieces. And, um, yo, give me a beat. We'll take the fins and pull them down. Okay, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I, I, I had a clever idea, and that's not coming to, uh, and it won't work, really. Especially with this, like, clone, it doesn't fit. Anyway, we're just going to take these wings, bring them back, and bring this nose cone section Hold this snow snow section all the way back, and uh, this slot will tap into that tab right there. Next, we'll take the arms and bring them out like so. Take the knees, legs, bring them down, rotate. Take the feet. Fold the feet out and around. Take out the heel spur and fold that panel in. Just to quote unquote fill in the gap. Same thing on this side. 
and boom, legs are done. And he gets tall. Next, I gotta bring down the shoulders and rotate. Uh, take the head, fold it up, and we'll take the wing pieces and plug them into these ports on the side of his arm. And here we have a um, unstable Cyclonus. Here we have Cyclonus in his robot mode. And you know, it's a good looking robot mode. It looks like Cyclonus to an extent. I mean, he does have silver bolt shoulders and like, you know, silver bolt arms. But everything, and the silver bolt legs. But um, yeah, it's uh, from this, this Cyclonus uh, head sculpt is a nice head sculpt. Nice Cyclonus head sculpt. Not like the Lost Light, not like a Matumti Cyclonus, but uh, you know, it's Cyclonus. You got the nice Decepticon silver, nice silver in the abdomen, nice silver going down the legs, and you know, come to the back and it's silver bolt. But uh, yeah, good figure, good figure. Articulation, head does a full 360, it's on a ball joint, you can look a little bit up, not a, not a lot down. You can wiggle side to side. Shoulders do a full 360. They go outward and inward. You got a bicep swivel, uh, elbow joint, no wrist swivel, no waist swivel. Hips, they go forward. Can't go back really because of the back dunk. Go outward and inward. Got a thigh swivel, knee joint, and that's it. He's as posable as he needs to be. And you could take his, uh, you could take his gun, and oh, I'm sorry, you could take his gun and, um, plug it in like that. Or you could just split the gun, and you can give him the gun and this thing. That's what I, that's how I display him anyway. But you display him however you want. You could, you could even take, uh, you could even take them and plug them in back into the nose cone and he's got a third leg uh yeah he's got another display option that I like you could um to kind of distinct him from silver bolt you could just take the wings and just flare them out because originally the the wings this section right here the cockpit will tap into this section of the wings to kind of like Secure them, like so, put them flush against the cockpit. But um, I like to flare the wings out, you know, for a difference. Anyway, for a comparison, here he is with Skywarp and Bombshell. Just because Skywarp and Bombshell. And here he is with Sunstreaker, a combined awards deluxe. <coughs> Excuse me, moi. So, uh, yeah, with all that being said, I guess there's one thing left to do. It's time to combine. Yes, he makes a torso for Galvatronus, even though his name isn't Dreadwing. Anyway, we're going to start by taking the head end, folding it back. Then we're going to take the arms, rotate them up, like so. Bring up, bring them up, and then straighten them out. This will be his. Excuse me, I just ate. This will be the combined mode legs, and to complete that look, we're just gonna flip up the wrists to open up those combiner ports. And boom, we got that going. Next, we're going to come up to the legs. We're gonna turn, put them back to jet configuration. So we're gonna open up that panel, fold up the heel spur, then fold up the leg. Bring this, bring the entire section down. And, um, you'll see that this tab will tap into the slot right in there. Right in there. Same thing on the other side. So we'll get this going. Fold up leg. Rotate. Fold. Fold it around. And 
And you got that look going. Next we're going to come down here, bring this section up on this hinge, right here. If I could show you, bring this section up on this hinge, then accordion, the, then fold the head on this hinge, and then bring it up so that this tab on the back of the, of the neck, at the base of the neck, and plug, will plug into this slot right in there. Like that. And we're going to take this chest piece first, and bring it forward on the on its hinge. And we're gonna bring this section forward, forward, and this. Oh wait, I forgot something. I always forget this. Take this panel, flip it up. All right. Bring this chest piece out, and this slot will slide into that tab. It's all. It's, 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 it's like it's like um bombshells, like leg connection. Really, you you put the slot over the tab as opposed to like putting them together like that so that that's what you got going there and um this is it this is galvatronis uh, of course you know it's not comic accurate they just took the name from the comics but um you know looks like galvatron oh you want to also flip these out for my mode but uh, it looks like galvatron um head sculpt is galvatron body is galvatron just have to constantly little nice red accents of silver bits going on here got some nice more more nice red and silver and uh, he's got a head for a cr an under his crotch. But, uh, yeah. I guess if this is a big deal, you could just rotate the head around. That way, yeah, that looks a little better. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Combiner Wars limbs. And I'm going to make us a Galva make me a Galvatronus. Alrighty, so I got me some auto arms and some Decepta legs. So we're just gonna get this thing going right here. So you know, just slide it in. I love how easy it is to slide in the uh, to slide in the uh, things on on this mold because it's oddly satisfying. It's almost like a Astro Train's uh, shoulder thing. All right. Anyway. Let's raise up, and you can see Devastator again. Hi, Devastator. Anyway, we're just going to take this section in, take the arms and slide them in, and boom, Galvatronus is ready to go. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, Superion repaint. Ergo, it's actually a really good uh, torso mode. Um, you know, it's a little skinny at the legs. Like it just like skinny and then wah. But um other than that, pretty good bolt, pretty good uh torso design. You can come down here and just fold down the fist is what I like to do. I like to keep things a little flush. But um yeah, it's a good torso mode. I my favorite torso mode in my in the combiner wars. Um you could take his uh combined gun and he can in fact hold it. And Rook can separate at the legs. And in fact, hold his gun, or you could just store it at the back here. And yeah. Good torso mode, good torso mode. You know, articulation, heads on a swivel, shoulders can go out and inward to a full 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel, opening hand, fingers, and thumb. Uh, no waist swivel, Menasaur is the only combiner torso to have a waist swivel. Hips go forward, they can go backward, they can go outward and inward, you get a thigh swivel, knee joint, and you can nearly pop out the port, and you got the foot. So, you know, he's posable. And uh, yeah, for comparisons, here he is with Bombshell. Can't even see Bombshell. And Skywarp. Just gonna unhook the camera so you can just see. Yeah, he's big. Speaking of big, here he is with Devastator! 
Devastator once again proving his size dominance. Anyways, yeah. That's uh, Galvatronus and Cyclonus. Um, good figure. Uh, you know, Combiner Wars did have the tendency to make repaints that didn't really make much sense. Cyclonus falls into that category, but it's like the torso mode. It just falls under a mold that uh, sort of works, but doesn't work for him. Um, I think this does really well for as Computron. Like, the Computron looks really good with this with this like uh, mold and um that's all we really have to say if you if you want to get this like if you want to get this design like this combiner wars cyclonus silverbolt by all means get it i mean like if you really like it that way i guess if you're a cyclonus junkie then you need like this cyclonus it's actually a really good uh it's a pretty good cyclonus not as good as the classic one but um it's good yeah that's it bye